I'm seated in front of an Irish cottage that was built somewhere in the early part of the 1800s. This cottage is well known in Irish history terms. A man called Michael Cusick was born in this home in 1847. Michael Cusick went on to found what's called the Gaelic Athletic Association in 1884. The Gaelic Athletic Association was set up to set up Irish games unique to Irish people. The games that were founded were rounders, handball, Gaelic football and a game called hurling. Each of those games are played in each community and parish within Ireland and also the games have spread to various parts of North America, England, Australia, New York, Boston, San Francisco, wherever Irish people may be, all these games are played. So the setting I'm in is really rural, so I hope you enjoy all the various sounds from the bird life that are all around the area where I'm, I'm seated. The class for this morning is a class specific for yoga for cancer, for people going through yoga treatment or cancer survivors. The, the poses are all done in a safe and controlled manner and the purpose of the class will be to detoxify the body, strengthen the body, strengthen the immune system, lead to better movement and flexibility, calm the body, reduce weight loss, strengthen the cardiovascular system. One key component of all the key areas is bone loss. So true treatment comes bone loss, reduction in bone mass. And that often leaves us open to osteoporosis, osteopenia, and a greater incidence of falls and fractures. I hope you enjoy the class. And as we begin, we'll stay seated for most of the class, some of the poses we may be standing for. And what I encourage you to do, and if you have the option, you can use a yoga block to leave that behind your back or sometimes what I may use is a Pilates ball as a cushion as well behind your back. The idea with the Pilates ball or cushion is to help support our back, lead to better posture, lead to better alignment, straighten the core and get more benefit from the particular poses that we will work on this morning. So let us begin. Place hands to two thighs and keep the ear, shoulder and hip in a nice straight line as we sit up nice tall and straight as we bring chin towards chest and inhale coming up using our breath as we exhale lowering back down draw the breath in coming up along and use our breath to exhale inhale coming up from the center we'll exhale out towards the side as we breathe in coming back so we'll use that breath once more as we look towards the side and draw in that breath in. We keep pushing the breath away and draw in and get one more out to your right as we inhale and one more towards our left. As we come back towards centre, taking that hand and getting a nice spread on the fingers as we begin to draw ear towards shoulder as we return back up. So as we move on the side neck stretches, keep the ear towards the shoulder and try not let the head come forward. That's good work. Well done. As we get one more on either side. All good. Our last one then. Well done. Again, lower ear towards the shoulder. As we come back nice and tall and straight. As we take the arms wide, take hands to shoulder and draw back out. And take both arms forward as we lengthen, take hands to shoulders and straighten and back. That's good. Hands to shoulder and we'll roll those shoulders forward. And we we'll take those shoulders and draw them up and back then. So we raise them up and back. That's good. Two. And one. As we keep the elbows in line, we draw to centre and open back, stretching between the shoulders. So draw inwards and back, getting two and a one. Take the right arm up, take the palm between our shoulders, take the left hand across, 
pressing gently on towards the elbow. As we change on the other side, hand between shoulders, hand across and hold that stretch, palm between shoulders if we have the strength today. We're going to set about a movement that's going to get the spine moving in five different directions. Take the arms away, as we inhale bring the palms up, exhale back down towards the side. So we draw the breath in, bring the palms close, exhale back down. As we take hands to hips, take an arch in our back and look upwards. Bring the arms forward, we're going to round the middle of our back, bring chin to chest and lengthen the arms. We'll breathe in as we come up and lengthen. We'll exhale down towards the side, lengthening the top arm. Turn the palm up and inhale, coming up, lengthen both arms. Exhale on the side, turn the right palm down, lengthen the left arm away. Inhale as we come back up once more as both palms face. Using our breath, working from the core, exhale out towards the left. Inhale as we come back towards the centre. And using that breath once more, exhale as we turn out towards your right. Draw that breath in again. Exhale as we turn the palms down. As we turn the palms up, inhale and lengthen up as we reach up. Exhale as we come back down, resting hands to hips. Inhaling, pushing the hips forward, arching their back, looking upwards. As we take hands from hips and exhale, draw our chin towards the chest and round the mid area of our back. As we inhale, coming up once more, lengthening up. And as we exhale out towards the left, lengthen the top arm. Turn that palm up once more as we inhale, coming up to lengthen. And exhale down towards the side once more, reaching away with that left arm. Inhale as we come back towards centre. From the centre, from the core, as we exhale around towards the side. Inhale, coming back. And exhale once more. And draw that breath in as we take the arms down towards the side. Keeping both elbows in line with the shoulders. And drawing both arms back. Fingers pointed up. As we exhale towards the centre. Inhale, open back and wide. Taking that right hand, exhaling as we bring the right hand across towards the left. As we inhale back to the centre, broaden between collarbone to collarbone. With that left hand, exhale as we bring towards the right as we follow both hands. As we inhale back to the centre. As we take that right hand down behind your head. Turn the left palm down, exhale away out to your left, tilting the right elbow up. As we inhale back towards the centre, from the centre, as we exhale away out to your right, draw that breath in as we come back to centre. From the centre, using that breath, exhale towards the centre as we bring palms and elbows close together. Inhale as we open back. With that right hand as we exhale, Bring towards the left as we follow both hands across to the side. Inhale back to centre. From the centre with that right, left. Push the breath across towards your right. As we inhale back towards the centre. Taking that right hand behind your head. Turn the left palm down. Exhale, tilting the right elbow upwards. Inhaling back to centre. From the centre, turn the left palm down. And exhale up. Inhale, back we go. Last sequence, using that breath. As we exhale towards the centre with palms and elbows. As we inhale, back towards the centre. Taking that right hand, using our breath as we exhale across towards the left. Inhale, back towards the centre. And using that left as we exhale across towards the right. As we draw that breath back in towards the centre. With that right hand down behind our head. We'll exhale as we turn the left palm down, inhale back to centre. From the centre, exhale to the opposite side, tilting that left elbow upwards, drawing that breath in as we come back to our centre. And from the centre, we'll inhale as we lengthen, 
and exhale out towards the side for two more. Inhale, lengthen, reach, stretch. Exhale as the palms come down as you take the arms wide for the last one. Inhale upwards. Exhale out towards that side. As we open the arms out to the side, take the right arm up, keep that arm by our ear, turn the left palm down and exhale out to the side. As we draw that breath in again once more, we will use that breath again to lengthen and reach, stretching up through those fingers. Get three more. Exhale away out to the side. Keep the arm by the ear. So don't let the top arm drift forward. Keep that arm back and lengthen up through those fingers using our breath. That's good. Last one. As we exhale away to the side. Inhale, go back and we swap on the opposite side. Push the breath. As we inhale, using the arm by that ear, lengthening. Great work, well done. Get two more as we push the breath and inhale. And this is our last one. Exhale away towards the side. Draw that breath in. So what we're doing on, the, on these various poses, we're building muscle mass. We're leading to better flexibility and mobility in the arms and shoulders. Plus, really important to access that lymphatic drainage from the arms as well. We'll get the arms up as we take that left hand towards our right wrist and as we inhale to help to lengthen our spine as we reach upwards using our breath as we exhale out towards your left as we draw that breath back in once more inhale lengthen the right arm up exhale away out to your left keep the arm by your ear and lengthen inhale back we go for our last one inhale lengthen the right arm up and exhale as we stretch to your left as we inhale coming back and exhale turning the palms down as we inhale taking the arms up take that right hand over across to our left wrist and inhale lengthen our left arm up straight and exhale away to your right lengthening the top arm to increase that stretch as we inhale coming back for last two push the breath away out to your right inhale coming back our last one then use the breath to lengthen and reach away and inhale back we go turning both palms down that's good work turn the palms away and inhale bring them in close up overhead and turn that breath back down again for two more inhale as we lengthen exhale as we lower our last one as we inhale reach exhale back down good work hopefully everyone's enjoying what we're doing so far so we spent quite an amount on the upper body as we move on we're going to stand for the next one or two as i set about to bring renewed and extra strength towards our back area and towards those hips and legs so i'm just going to take that leave the ball to the side and the block as we work on a couple of really powerful powerful strength poses for strength towards the legs we can start with two feet in line with the shoulders we can fold those arms now if you need any support on this bring a chair in front leave both hands on towards the seat we fold both arms as we stand upwards and lower the hips back down that's good work well done if you have the strength today you can listen to that body and you can do extra if you're if you're up to it for today that's good so just listen to that body well done and get four good work and three well, good and get two more that's it keep the spine nice and long and straight keep drawing that belly towards that spine well done and last one down and last one comes up very good going to move along to a really good back shoulder hip core strength pose coming up I'm going to use the seat for this and start with both hands on top of the seat I'm going to begin and take the two feet beyond shoulder width and very slowly 
going to begin to walk the arms outwards as we lengthen the arms. Take a slight bend on the knees, lengthen the arms and keep that head in line with the shoulders and hold on that pose, breathing as normal. We won't hold the breath and keep that head in line with the shoulders and feel all that strength come into the body. Feel that strength come into the shoulders, into the back area, down into the lower back and in towards those hips as we hold. As we walk back in towards the seat and as we walk back in, we'll rest both hands on the seat and push the hips forward and we'll begin to arch back. And as we come back down, we'll walk back outwards once more, lengthening the arms two feet beyond shoulder width, taking a slight bend to both knees, keep that head in line with the shoulders. If you've had any previous injuries on the arms or shoulders, you may, may not be able to lengthen and straighten the arms. Just keep a slight bend on those arms if that's the case. And hold where we are. That's good. So hold and breathe as normal. Lengthening back. That's good. Lengthening away. Excellent. And we walk back in again once more. Again, hands to, to seat and pushing the hips forward and arching the back. That's good. And just come back out again then, lengthening away. So keep lengthening back. That's good. So it's our last one then. That's good. So lengthen and reach back. And we walk back in for the last one then. So pushing the hips forward and arching back and up. That's good. We're going to continue on with bone strength as we move into a key area on hip strength. Placing both hands to, towards the seat and taking that left leg, keeping straight and lifting from the hip as we lift up and back. What's key on this is take the lift from the hip, keep the leg straight and push the heel up and back. So try and avoid lifting from the lower back, lift from that hip and tense that hip. If you have the strength, you can by all means lift upwards. Maybe if the strength isn't there today, even a slight lift is good. Keep the leg straight, work from that hip. That's good, well done. As we work to five and four, well done. And keep going for three and two and a one as we rest foot to floor and swap to the opposite side. Taking that leg upwards and back, keeping straight, working from the hip. So we'll tense that hip area. That's good. Five, four, three, two, and a one. Good work. We're gonna combine the upper body and lower body in the next move as we take left arm forward, lengthen the left arm, get a good spread in the fingers, and take that right hip up and back. So lift from the hip, lift the right leg up and back, and hold where we are, gazing towards the inside of that palm, and holding as we lower back down. Good work. So again, lift from the hip, raising the right leg up and back, lengthening the left arm forward, looking towards that palm as we lower. It's our last one then. Lengthening up. That's good as we bring power and strength to the upper body towards that core, down into the hip and leg. As we swap to the opposite side, as we lift that left leg up and lengthen the right arm forward. And always remember one side may be stronger or not as strong as the other. So just allow for that in the, in the various poses we work on. As we lower and to get two more, lengthen and draw that leg upwards. That's good. Feel the strength in that hip area as we tense and hold. And our last one then, lengthen up and draw that heel up. Again, working on that hip area. That's good. And four three, two, 
and in water. Good work. So as all that, the treatments we go through in, in the process, it leads to a reduction in bone mass. So all the work we've been working on is to bring all that strength back into the body once more. As we said about, to get in some more ears, I'm just going to leave the seat to one side and move in on the side to get into warrior position. Taking that front leg forward, bringing that back leg back, keeping the back leg straight, turning the foot out towards the side, having both hips facing forward, taking both arms by the side, and with an inhale, as we draw that breath in and come upwards, drawing the arms upwards with both palms facing. If we haven't the strength in the shoulders today, we can open the arms out wide as we draw them away. Relax the shoulders. Don't scrunch those shoulders. Keep them nice and relaxed and reach up and lengthen as we bring more power into that body, improving our balance, bringing renewed strength and spirit in. And hold, that's good. If we have more strength, we can glance between those palms and hold as we keep the back leg straight, tensing that back hip, keeping that front knee in line with that front ankle and holding, that's good. As we take hands to hips and as we change and swap on the opposite side, getting our alignment once more. Again, knee in line with that front ankle. So keep the knee in line with the front ankle and keep up nice and straight. Hips are facing forward. As we have both arms by our side and with an inhale as we draw the arms upwards. If you need any means of support, we can always place one hand to the seat and draw the other arm up. That's good. So hips facing forward, lengthening up. Again, draw the arms away if we need to. And follow those palms if we like, if we feel that strength. Keep pressing down in that back hip. That's good work. And holding where we are, avoiding to hold the breaths, breathing as we would normal, and lengthening the arms upwards. That's good. And hold five, four, three, two, and a one. Great work. Well done. And we take hands to hips and draw left foot and right foot up nice and tall and straight. That's good. Good work. As we move and change again, as we switch those feet once more, again we get our alignment, both the hips facing forward. Again, use the seat if you need to for support by placing one hand in the seat. As we take the front arm forward as we lengthen and take the back arm back behind. We'll try and lengthen both arms and try and keep them straight. If we have any previous shoulder injuries, it may be difficult to keep the two straight. As we gaze forward and inhaling and exhaling, holding where we are. That's good. As we keep the arms where they are and we turn the palms upwards, gazing towards that front palm. And as we lower back down and as we change to the opposite side, changing once more, continuing, continuing on with the good alignment we've had. As we take the front arm forward and open the back arm back behind, keeping that knee in line with that front ankle lengthening and holding. That's good. And breathing as normal. Feel that strength come into the upper body. Feel all that power into the arms and shoulders, into that core area and towards those legs. That's good. And turn the palms upwards and gaze towards that front palm and holding. That's good. As we take both arms down and as we bring both arms, bring both feet in line with the shoulders, taking both palms to centre, inhale and exhale. That's good. As we get two, one done. And that last one upwards and that last one comes down. 
that's the last for me today. I really hope you enjoy the class and that you get some benefit from the work that we've been doing for the last 20-25 minutes.